sound. Oh, that. That's the cry of a wakon and a million's bed. You hardly see it. That's because he hides in the thickest part of the bush. And when he cries, it's either somebody's dead or somebody's about to die. God forbid. <gasps> For me. And I still feeling this way. Maybe I heard that bird cry. <sighs> There's nothing to worry about. It's because you don't. You're not used to that cry. It's really nothing to worry. You'll be fine. Ada, please don't bother me. I told you I'm not feeling fine. I feel funny. Okay, let me help you. I just go. Eh? Let's go. Ujumba, what is going on? Why is everybody looking so worrisome? Ah, uh, Uloma. Nothing to worry about. It's just that two women we are fighting so many minutes ago. I bet we are separated. Mazok is not true. Mm. Let's go. Wait, wait. What's my mother's voice? Listen. I say don't worry. You will soon see that there's no problem.
Somebody told me that Obi accused my friend died and has since been buried two weeks ago. He's dead, though. Hey! Oh, okay, it's true. I don't want to believe it at all. He's buried. I didn't. Because I was with him on that fateful day. He came to my shop to buy clothes. I helped him to buy those things that I do not have. We stayed together, as always, before he got up that he was going. I helped him to tie up those things that he bought on the bike and bade him farewell. Mm. Little did I know that I was sending the help that I was He died. 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 He See your condition. It's okay. It's Hold okay. yourself. Hey, please. It's okay. Hey, come, come. Come down. Come down, please. Be strong for your daughter and the unborn child. Hmm? Thank Trust you. Trust in God and He will never forsake you. Hmm? Thank you, my sister. Thank you. God bless you. I've been talking to her. We have been telling her. Tell her to hold herself to. It's okay. See me. Auntie, what about uh, daughter Oloma? She went to school. school. She will soon be back. I don't have to send me back. She will send me back for school. No, Ibakuiz is dead. Ibakuiz is dead and buried. It's okay, it's okay. It's yes, okay. No, 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 yes, no. I know what you're afraid of. But it's not going to be so. No! It's not going to be so. Listen. Ibakuiz, your late husband, was a very nice man. And a very good friend of mine. And make sure you lack nothing. Yeah, He's dead, you. yes, but I'm still alive. I will take care of you. I'll take care of your family. You will lack nothing. As for your daughter's education, I will take care of it. I will see her through. Thank you. God bless you for being so thoughtful. May the good Lord bless you abundantly. Thank you very much, yo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Olaji 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 I called you several times and you didn't answer me What kind of thing is this? Eh? How long are you going to continue like this? Eh? Olachi. Olachi. Your husband is dead, though. Eh? He's gone. This guy is not easy. It's not easy for me at all, sister. I know it is not easy. Sister, I'm tired of this world. I know it is not easy. But you just have to be there for your children. Sister, I want to go and be with my husband. <laughs> The spirits have ears. Do you hear me? Don't talk like that. What you should be concerned with now is this unborn baby. And what do you want your daughter to do if you continue like this? Tell me. 
Eh? You just have to be there for them. Please calm down. You go. It's not easy for me. It's not easy for me. I can't continue. You have to be stronger. I cannot. You have not eaten since uh, yesterday. So I brought food for you. So get up. Let's go in. No? <laughs> get up. Let's go inside. Get up. Get up. Zika, I brought your favorite. Coco. Eh? Coco. You remember our mother used to say, Oh, you know what? I don't know what you know. I don't know what you know. You have to eat. Oh, eh? Be you. strong. What's my have now with that too? Yeah, I will still do more. Come, my dear. God bless you. Uh -huh. Thank you. With this young man, uh, go to the, my room. See the key. Bring the food when you finish cooking. Okay. Ah, am I not coming with you? No, no, no. You finish with this and bring it to the house. Push you. If they say push, push you. Push. Just push harder. Is it you? Sister. Huh? I'm here. You can't go lamb. Strength is failing me. No, God forbid. Your strength should not fail you. Oh, if they say push, push. No. No, mama. Sister, you can't go lamb. Do something. No, don't worry. She will give self delivery. Don't worry. This will revitalize her. It will revitalize her. Yes, in a minute. Okay, then she'll be strong enough to push. Okay. If they say, Jessica, no one. No, no more. I don't know. I'm trying. One day more. Jessica, eh? Why don't you? It will soon be over. Oh, come. Calm down and push gently. Yes. Calm down and push gently. They say you should come down and push. Come down. Come down. Push. Is that what you want us to come? Come on, Chichi. Chichi. Zata, 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 Zata. Chichi, come here. Yes. Chichi. 
Sister, huh? I can hear him calling my name. Who is calling you? Huh? Sister, I want to go and join him. Who is calling me? I'm blood 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 blood. Ah! He's on his own. God forbid, see my sister. Do something now. Huh? Can't you do something? This is so unbelievable. I beg, please. Take care of her. Take care of huh? her mama and my daughter. Oh, and do church. Bring them up as the children that you never had. No, I'm not taking care of anybody. And I need to get my mama and daughter. Hey, hold your head. No! Hey! Hey! This is so unbelievable. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Obligations. Hey! Hey! Carry! Oh my god, hold your baby. the burial rice. You see? Oh, oh, oh. Mama? I don't really know how to start. See, Mama, there's no point you are staying and suffering in the village. Look at Oloma. I know we are not related by blood. But Obiakizu, your late sister's husband, was a very good friend of mine. In fact, he's even more than a brother to me. So myself and my wife will reach a decision. And that is why I'm here. We want to take Oloma to the city, take care of her, train her in her education, make sure that she grows into a full and responsible woman that will be of great use to you in this village. Because if she makes success, the spirit of Obiakis will be very happy with me wherever he is. Um, I heard you. But who will be helping me now? Eh? Uchechi is still very young. He is barely two years. Mama, I understand all you're saying. You see, Oloma's future is the issue here. I want her to grow into a full and responsible woman. And I can only do that when she lives in my house. My children are all grown. They are in the boarding house. So there's nobody there. She can now concentrate and do her studies. I get your point. But you see, this Oloma, has gone through a lot of emotional trauma. I don't want her to leave my side. I don't, I want to be seeing her. Mama, that's the same situation that made me to be here. Mm. I know Obiakizu, if he were to be alive, 
would have done even more than that for me and my children. That is why I'm here, so that the spirit will be happy. Okay. <laughs> I would have loved her to stay with you, but uh, since you are going to take her to the city to get education, <laughs> at least let somebody be properly educated in her family. I don't mind, you can take her. Uh, uh, but I am short of words, so uh, I don't know how to thank you. I don't know how to thank you enough. Thank you very much. Mama, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, very I'll good. do anything for my friend. I'll be leaving. Oh, no. But I'll be back in two days' time. I'll pick her when I come. Okay? So just make sure that she's ready. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Uh, Until that time. Okay. Okay. Two days, you said. Yeah, two days. Thank you. Okay. Greet your mother from you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, she came back with you. Yes. Hey, yeah. Um, oh, no, no, no. Come, come, come. Keep dancing. Uh oh. 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 Uh
while waiting for new term to come before you register in school. I want to keep you busy. Eh? You have to start hoping for me from today. Eh? At least when you start school eventually, you'll be doing it as part time. Eh? There are other mates around who are carrying things around to sell. Eh? Just follow them. There's nothing wrong with that. Eh? Just watch them how they make their own cells and then make your own cells too. Hmm? I hope you understand me. Stories about the money, be careful with it. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. Don't change. Don't change you. Come. 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 Call your friends. Call all my friends. I thank you all for his life. Eh? Who would have uh, believed that he would have survived? Can you go and get water for you to drink? Oh, huh? you are your friend. Oluma, Oluma. Careful, I'm set for work. When your uncle returns. Tell him I'm on night duty. I could not wait for him to return. Eh? And then um, make sure you serve him his uh, dinner. And remember to lock up the rooms properly if you want to go to bed. Yes, sir. Eh? Necessary for one to shade off his sex look. As you can see, I'm not getting any room. Ah, how I wish you would continue like that. I resent that drinking habit of yours. Besides, drunkenness can make you do things you wouldn't have done. Well, that's in the past, though. Yes. So let's forget about it, okay? Mm -hmm. There's something uncommon about this Luma, this few months that I've observed. She's no longer cheerful, unhappy. She enjoys staying alone, she avoids us, 
Sometimes she will be so surprising. I've told you to let the poor girl be. What will she be discussing with you? As I met? Besides, I've warned her to make sure she comes first in her examination. So maybe that's why she's taken to her study seriously. Okay? This is beyond studies. Something is wrong with that girl. What else do you want to know? I've told you to let the poor girl be. Or oh, don't you know that she has suffered a lot in the past? Address, what do you want to know? Have I said anything wrong? Shut up. Baby? Yes, I'm almost through just to rubbing powder and wear his clothes. Hurry up with that. As soon as I'm through with the sister Metron, I'll be taking him to the hospital for a rundown test. You get ready. You will follow me to the hospital. Okay, sister. Okay. Baby, how are you? That is what I have come to show you. I register him with the name Dozier. Oh, Chuku Dozier. Picked up 6.30 a.m. Saturday, 30th March 1984. By the gate of the Compassion Home, Aheke Omwaya. The parents are known. No relations in sight. Oh, that's all right. Has Edith finished parting him? Yes, sister. She should be through by now. Then get set immediately to the hospital for a comprehensive roundup. They said the baby. Please do that properly. Yes, sister. Um, that reminds me. Tell Sister Margareta to get ready the procreators that we will be going to the market as soon as I finish what I am doing. Let's say in the next 30 minutes. Yes, sir. No, ma. I came because of the applying person, says girl. So, how are we going to do it? I don't understand. 
I mean, how much am I going to pay you for your service? Anything, ma. Anything. As long as you allow me to eat and sleep here. I can even start now, ma. Don't you have any place to stay? No, ma. I don't, I don't have anybody around here. Have you eaten? No, ma. I'm not eating anything, ma. Okay, sit down. Let me bring you food. Sit Thank down. You. I'm coming. Thank you. to that girl, I will not be answerable to it. Why don't you go to the village and make report? I better still report to the police. Then go to the police or go to the village and I'll be our behalf. Eh? Are you my husband and wife? We are in this together. We are not together in this. Oh. We are not together. Oh, 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 is missing. That is the issue. I'll try my best. I cannot find the woman. Oh, you tell your wife too. Please, until you bring your woman back. Please, I want me to have some peace. I will not have peace until your woman returns to this house. Good. You go and get the woman back. To you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are Mr. Chima. You yeah. called me yesterday that you will be coming today. I am Chima. Machi is my wife. Oh, I'm Sister Pauline. I'm in charge of the orphanage. Sister Margareta and Sister Mary my assistant. You're welcome. 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 You're into the compassion. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Uh, sister, we have some things in the books for the oh. children. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Oh, Mr. Khan. Please come and help us to bring those things out from the boat. Show some love to that marvelous child. Show some care to that orphan in the streets. Show some love to that marvelous child. Show some care to that orphan in the streets. Show some love. Show them the 
would have been very, very difficult for us. But with good people like you around us, the Lord has made a whole lot easier for us. <laughs> <laughs> on the issue of adoption, which you expressed on your first letter to us, mm -hmm. that you'll be needing a two-year old boy. That's correct, sister. It's mostly ideal for us. That's all right. You see, the compassion home cares with concerns the needs of her benefactor and benefactresses. As it relates to adoption, we don't have a two-year-old boy now ready for adoption at the moment. But however, as I've already made it known that most of these kids either have their mother or their father alive, or some we are brought down here by their extended relations for them to be catered for. At the expiration of their agreed years, will come for their collection. You see, the one we have now here is not ready for adoption. But let's see, if the people, his people could not come within eight years with a proof, you can come officially and formally to adopt him. Sweetheart. Eight years, eh? Yeah. Should we come? We will. We will. Yes. Uh, um, that's it. This, this one is for you to take care of other orphans in the orphanage. Hmm? Uh, and uh, this one is another 250,000 naira. This one is for the boy we are going to wait for uh, these eight years. Uh, what do you say is his name? We named him Chukudozi. Chukudozi. Oh, that's, well, that's a very nice good name. name yes. Now, <laughs> this second check is for Chukudozi alone. We want you to take very good care of him for us. Thank you very <laughs> much indeed. May the good Lord bless you abundantly. God bless, bless you, you too. too. <laughs> and I must have to tell you that the compassion will give her all reserved cares to her children. Yes. Be rest assured, we will do justice to whatever you have given us today. Thank you. And we'll be praying for God's continued blessings and guidance every day over your family. Okay. That is what we do for our benefit. Thank you very Thank much, you. sister. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, sister. sister. <laughs> I welcome you into the Thank you very much. Okay, 
Where did you go, bro? I we. So you left me and went to another place. I did not even see you in school. like to play with. Very soon, their fathers will come to check them. Let me see who you play with. Now, nah, over there. Said, your dad is waiting for you downstairs. He has come to take you home. Eh? No, 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 no. Mickey, you can't leave me here. Mickey, please. You can't leave me here. You remember when I went out to Sister Metro without you? You are angry. Now you want to leave me forever. Please. Please don't leave me. Does it suck okay. it? It's okay. It's okay. Please, 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 Mickey, don't leave me. Come, come, Mickey. He's waiting for you. Mickey, please, don't leave me. Mickey, please. 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 Mickey, Tell me something. What is this? I've been thinking, ma. I've been thinking about my people. I don't know if you allow me to go and see them this weekend. My auntie and my only brother. It's been really long since I saw them. When are you going to travel? In two days, ma. Just two days. Just to ease my spirit a bit. I want to see my only brother. I last saw him when he was two. I want to know how he's doing. Um, that's so nice to you. I must stop you from seeing your people. When I travel, I will travel. Um, on Friday. On Friday will be good now. On Friday. We still have more for this. Till then. Thank you, ma. God bless you, ma. Thank you, ma. Hello, ma. Thank you, 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 ma.
peace within me. Maybe this peaceful presence could flow from this river into my being. God. No. No. I must get through this for once in my life. I have to get through this alone. This is the time to face the truth and not to back away from it. This is a story I must tell. God, have I really lost touch with time? Can I ever remember how my brother Uche looks? And Auntie Ami, who knows if she's still alive? Oh God, please, please. I want to see my auntie. Keep her alive for me. Please. Tell me. It's me. Uluma, your sister's daughter. Hey. Uluma. Hey. Uluma. Uluma. Auntie. Uluma. Uluma. It's me. It's me, Auntie. It's me. It's you. It's me. It's you. Mama, why did you ask for me? Eh? Ten years. Eh? Ten years I was looking for you. Eh? What happened? It's a long story. Eh? It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs>
after I left with Uncle Loka. He was supposed to take me to Mercy Girls College. But his wife said no. Because we weren't really, because we were not related. So they took me to a day school. They took me to a day school so I could help my domestic. His wife was a nurse, Mama. And his children, they got in school. They only came home during the holidays. So, why are you telling me all this story? What has it got to do with uh, your past? I was and... always alone with you, Mama. I took it normal. I took it very normal. Until one day. Go on. Come, Mama. This is your past. This is the past that is ever before me, Mama. This is the past that has haunted me all my life. Uh, let me put up the lantern so that it will just away the evil from the dark. Eh? The bad woman. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The child does here in the release to you today. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Providing with all the necessary things you need to grow into a meaningful citizen. Although we are never in doubt that we're not lack in any of these things. The compassion home, however, will monitor you and see how you are getting on with your responsibilities over here. Which you have accepted this day. This is how we do here. You don't just adopt and go. No. We facilitate the adoption to make sure that things are done correctly. In the meantime, should you be traveling outside the country, please. You should, as a point of fact, notify us before. Okay. Once more, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sister Metron, we will never let you down. Dozi will be more than a son to us. And we will provide him with the very best we can. Yes. Um, most importantly, don't forget the compassion. Say that you're my daddy. Yes, yes and we have come to take you home. Yes. Uh, and this is your moment. The is Choma and Miki there. Choma and Miki, they were his closest friends here before their parents came to collect them. Oh, I see. Uh, yes, they'll be coming to see you from time to time. Okay, mm. come. So okay. let's. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Yes. I'm looking for the director general of the orphanage. The director general? You mean the sister matron? Yes. I think she's the one in charge. Okay. Are you on an appointment with her? Yes. So, what do you want to say her for? Yes. Surprise with you. Not forever, sister. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. Yes, yeah, sister. Sorry. Um, I want to know if she could give me a job, maybe as a cleaner or an, an attendant to the children. Mm. Working in an orphanage is very tasking. You know. Can you come with the children and their disturbances? Ah, yes, yes, I love to take care of children. Okay. Oh, you went to Take left. We are even making plans to put up adverts eh, for job vacancies. So you comport yourself very well as you meet her. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. All right. In the place wash. They cannot finish wearing all these ones I'm washing today now. Look, we don't be like that here. Once the clothes are dirty, you wash them. Thank God the better did not see you. I know you will not like it if she sees it. Between two of you, can they stay away? I did, sister. Oh, that's a very good job. Thank you, sister. After being through with these babies, I want you to go to the store and pantry, get them arranged. Clean the lobby leading to those rooms. I want it thoroughly done, okay? Yes, sister. Thank you, sister. All of them, few of them, uh, most of them that are here have either their father or their mother still alive, and some were brought here because their mother are mentally sick. Mentally sick, some who have mental problem after delivery. We are not allowed to stay with their baby, if not, the poor baby will be harmed. Eat it. Do they have abandoned babies here, like children that were abandoned? Yes, about six of them. They were picked between one year and six months ago. Very soon they will be adopted. Adopt them? Yes, that's what we do here. We pick them from where their mother abandoned them. Then we take care of them. After which we give them out to couples who want to take them, take care of them, care for them like their own. Edith, Edith, don't they have records? Like records where they keep children that were abandoned. You know, like where they were picked, how they were picked. Records. Any, any, any record? Yes. Sister, the records. Where they are picked. Details of their records. Even the clothes they wear. The dead ones have records also. Dead ones? Some die before they are brought here. Some die after a few days they are being brought here. But there's this one that I will never forget. The mother abandoned him at the pathway leading to the stream. Before Metron could get there, her angry ants on rampage have found Suko in the sub body of the baby. Ah! Luma, my dear. The ants went through the nose roof, the ears. Show 
some laughter that's marvelous child Show some care to that's often in the streets Show some laughter that's marvelous child Show some care to that's often in the streets Show some love Show them that you care There are so many less privileged among us There are so many needed people in the street oh, Very close to you, you can lay a happy no matter your religion, you can reach out to the poor, even under the bridge. Oh, you got to show them love. Show some love to that marvelous child. Very well, thank you. What are you doing there? I came to mop the ground. I'm through with the ground, so I'm dusting your table. Oh, yes, yes, I'm always take care of you. Yeah, that's correct. You are your father's heir. Everything he's doing, he's doing for you. That's why he wants you to go into a strong man that will have the ability to control his business empire. And I know you won't let him down. Of course not. <laughs> I won't let that down and I won't let you down.
you like it, Sam? What? Where we've just been to. The gym? Yeah, the gym. I like the place. <laughs> we'll be visiting the place from time to time, right? Yeah, we'll be doing that often, huh? Eh? It's good to keep fit, you know? So from time to time, we'll be going there, huh? Eh? Okay. To do some exercise. Too sweet away from here. Um, what of Chema? Have you seen her? I've not seen anyone since I left the compassionate house. I wonder where Chema will be anyway. Come and meet my dad. Your dad? Yes, come, come, come. Dad, meet my friend Yuki. We are together at the compassionate house. Meet my dad. How are you? That's in our fine, sir. Okay. Dad, you said they live somewhere down the road. Maybe we drop him off so that. I'll know the house and he can. I'm for you, you Thank you. Go and get the bicycle so we can drop it, man. Huh? Hey, Chema, what are you doing? Don't worry,
person may be keeping the record of this place. Well, as far as I know, it's only Sister Metron that keeps the records. If there's any other sister that keeps it, I don't know. There should be another sister. There should be another sister. I've been thinking about what we discussed with that day, what we talked about. About what? About what I asked you now. It is. In an organization like this, no person is supposed not to keep the records of operation. There should be a full bank. Come on. Oh, no, ma. Why are you so interested in this record something? Has it something to do with No. You? Hey. <laughs> no. Hey. It's just curiosity. And um, let me go and wash the cup, so. I'm tired of this with you, see. I'm tired of that. Just take things easy with you. He says you don't know. You're lucky to have a father that is understanding. But my I cannot change his big headed things. He keeps blaming me every now and then that I'm the cause of my mother's death. Just because my mom died a few hours after giving birth to me. And you know what? The man finds it very difficult to settle down with another woman. Do you blame him that much? Should I blame the blood of what I did not tell you now about?
it's anything the matter. <sighs> There's a baby boy abandoned on the roadside. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Who was that? I don't know. I just saw you there. I don't know. Let's mm -hmm. go at once and see. Is the baby still alive? The baby is still alive. Mm -hmm. Let's go together and see. Finish recording the details of the new baby. What mom did you give me? If I need to. Oh, if I need to, but that's alright. Helping hand. I mean, mm. it's amazing running a compassion home and then having to do all these chores yourself. It's really stressful. Of course, Oluma, there's no other option to that. And the metro, there's no exception, my sister. Ah, are you serious? Standing up all day and taking care of the children. She comes back and she still does chores like this herself. Of course, you know. mm. There's no other option to that. Mm. Mm -mm. I'd love to help her. I'd love to help her wash her clothes and take care of her things the way she would want them to be. Can you help me, doctor? Oh, you might is not allowed, lady. It is not allowed, though. Appreciate your good heartedness. Hmm? But have you not heard of this saying? On ease lies the head that wears the crown. Actually, Sister Metron is the head of the compassion home. You know, there are rules that guards the sisterhood, and Sister Metron cannot bend the rules. Things are not the way they seem. How? I mean, in the sisterhood. Oh. Our life is that of poverty and charity, so that's all. The vow we took when we were professed bound us to live in poverty and absolute charity. Uruma, you may never know unless you are close. Okay, let me go and see Sister Ibit. 
and see how she's coping with the children. So, you're welcome. Hey, so how do I go about the keys now? Hey? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Conversing, and I don't know what to do. He's conversing badly. Please come. Oh my God! 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 Oh my Good. 
Make sure you send all those letters to the secretary immediately. Okay, sir. And what about the meeting with the health of the department? Everything is in order, sir. And the memo? It will be sent this afternoon. Good. Good. Anyone look for me? No, yes, sir. But for the woman at the front office. I don't seem to know her. Did she say why she's looking for me? It's about employment, sir. She's uh, asking for a job as a cleaner or a messenger. Do we need one? You know, since Mrs. It took the trouble to be with her daughter, I've been the only one doing the uh, cleaning and errands and cleaning. Okay. It's uh, not helpful to my job. All right. Interview her and if she's good, employ her. Is that okay? It's all right, sir. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Can I have them now? Yes, of course. I've been How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank This is beautiful. Darling. Yeah. Kate did a very good work here. Uh -huh. The analysis is very explicit. <laughs> mm, yeah? Yeah. Kate is an old hand. I know what she can do. Yes. This is excellent. <sighs> yes, um... Darling, that reminds me. I've been doing some thinking about this year cleaner, Oloma. What about her? Well, she's um, dedicated and humble. I will. I think she'll be useful to me in the house. As what? Well, as my housekeeper and companion. Yes, you know, whenever, whenever Dozi goes back to school, the house is lonesome, especially when you're not around. She's a good woman, and I believe she's trustworthy. Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. uh, but what happens to her work here? Well, we will tell Kate to place an advert for her replacement. Or uh, better still, she can be doing the two jobs until somebody is found to replace her in the office. Okay, I'll sort it out with Kate. Thank you, darling. <laughs> That's why I love you. <laughs> Can I use the intercom? Yeah. Kate, please tell your mama to get ready. She'll accompany you to the market right now. Yes. Okay. So, sweetheart. Will you be home for lunch? Um, I'll be in a bit, but I surely will be home for dinner. 
Listen, I'm off to bring my son back for holidays. Yes, ma'am. Uh, make sure the food is ready. Okay. Because I wouldn't want my precious son to get punished. <laughs> no problem, ma. I can't wait to see your son. I've heard wonderful things about him. Oh, yes. Jose is such a smart boy. You can't help loving him. Yes. So take care of the house, right? <laughs> Try, try. Sorry. Bring your hand. Outside. Where is your auntie? She has gone to school to drop Dozi. I see. Well, it's wrong with lunch already. Yes, sir. Let me go and ask. to you, O Lord, for answering my prayers. In your mercy, you brought me close. Please sign. 
beg you, don't resent me. I never thought of harming anybody in this family. How could I? Letter. The letter was a prayer to God. A prayer which he finally answered. A prayer that has been in my heart for so many years. I never wanted anybody to know that I am a victim of circumstance. My father died when I was 15. And three months after, my mother died giving birth to my only brother. My world was shattered. My whole world came crumbling before my very nose. How can I think of hurting anybody in this family, sir? How? I never wanted to hurt anybody in this family, sir. explain what happened. What is not this happening? I thought you have looked clean up here. So this is your plan with this killer? To disgrace me? So this is how you want to find out? So how you talk to me with you? What exactly are you talking about? Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about now. So, what is she doing in your house? I don't know if she knows about it. Oh, uh, well, but she's saying the truth. Considering retiring from the company. Retiring? Yes. Man, with your own family. I want you to manage the company effectively. Devoid of my interference. But, but ma'am, don't you think it's rather too sudden? We still need your presence around. It's not sudden, not at all. I know you can handle it, my son. I know you can. I will prefer advice whenever you need it. I know you can do it. Yes, Mom, I know I can do it, but I, I, I was just thinking... Oh, no, no, don't mind me. Okay, 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 if you say so. I say so. So be it. I'll see you after the pass. <laughs>
Hello? Hi, yes, Kate. Oloma. Oh, yes, please, please. Yes, yeah, send her in right away, please. Okay, Kate. Thank you. Precisely this evening. Hey! Oh, how time flies! Two kids? Yes, Auntie. A boy and a girl? Yes, Auntie, a boy and a girl. I, I, I told my wife a lot about you, you know, how you, you, you cared for me in those days that dad used to travel up and down with mom. You suddenly disappeared. Nobody heard from you. Nobody saw you. I mean, I just came back from school and was told that you you sent in your resignation letter and left. Tuzier, it's a long story. Life has not been too kind. It's all right, Auntie. But I need your assistance. Auntie, whatever it is. Auntie, you were so nice to me, okay? You were. I want you to accept me back. I want to work for you. Auntie, that's not a problem, okay? See, it's your house. I would prefer work for you here. I can run small errands. Anything. Just to keep body and soul together. It's okay. There's no problem with that. Okay? See, maybe you just have to start immediately. I'll tell Kate to give you directives on how to uh, move on. But what about Accommodation, do you have any? Yes, my child. Yes. I have a room. I can stay in the supper. That's right. That's good. I'll tell kids to give you directives on what to do. Okay? Thank you, my son. Thank you. Does it? God will bless you. Bless you too. God will bless you. Thank you, Auntie. You will never know what you mean to me. Auntie, you're welcome. It's nice to see you again. Okay? Uh, you, you, mean you don't want me to get something for you to drink? You are the architect. I mean, what would I have done without you? 
And that's why I will always say thanks for the encouragement. Oh, that, that reminds me. Do you remember Oluma? Who is Oluma? Oluma now, mom. She used to be our house help. And what about her? She visited the office last week. And what did she tell you? Mom, life has been unfair to her. She needed a job. So? I gave her a job. You did not! Listen to C. I don't want to say that woman anywhere around the company, this house, my family, and all of you. I forbid you to have anything to do with her. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Mom. Are you sure you know the Uluma I'm talking about? Oh, of course I know the person you're talking about, and I don't know what I'm going to do. No, damn! You know, Mom, 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 you know your sister. She's telling she does her job well. Today. But how did okay. it go? Fine. Everything went fine. Uh, oh. Mom is so impressed. In oh. fact, it gives me so much encouragement. Uh, so, so uh, uh, where are the kids? They're having their siesta in their room. Okay. Mm. Look, baby, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to grab a bite. Mm. Just, you know, let's like, just go in. I prepared your favorite meal. What's that? Fine out. That's my wife. <laughs> Come, honey. Cool. I missed you. All. Lock the whole place the windows, the doors. Hmm? Yesterday. Jesus! Was it serious? I, I, I wouldn't know. They, they say she, they rushed her to Bethesda Hospital. Oh God, oh man. So what are you going to do now? Listen, I just get dressed and I, and I go to the hospital right away. I think that's, that's just the best I can. Honey, since she's going in the hospital, why don't you leave her till after work? My dear, 
she was not done while right leaving the office. I need to be there. Do you understand? Me? I understand, honey. Just that I'm worried about Listen, it. I need to be there. It's not a problem. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. Okay? Yeah, I'm just worried about it. She'll be alright. Yeah, I hope so. Well, please don't disturb her. She's still in a serious shop. Doctor, doctor, please, I want to see my son, those here, and my grandchildren, doctor, doctor, I want to see my son. Auntie, Auntie, doctor. Muttering. The moment you left, she wants to see her grandson. She, she, she wants to see her grandson. Yeah, yeah, that reminds me. Never since she was brought here, she keeps calling her son's name Dozi, Dozi, Dozi. This is just as a result of the impact from the accident. But she, she'll be alright. Let's go out. in an orphanage when I have my both parents alive. There is a lot to this than meets the eye. Could this be true? Could Oluma be my true mother? sent for you, you heard the noise, did I send for you? Did I? Now, just get the hell out of this office now! To see me get out of your office. I am not going anywhere! Till you tell me what is going on here and why you're picking the whole shop. What an country. And who do you think you are to make such a demand of me? To see, I know I am nobody. But I have the right to know what is happening here because I'm the one to do the cleanup since your cleaner is lying critical ill at the hospital. Now listen to me. The fact that you spent a better part of your whole life working for my father and I does not give you the right to talk to me in that manner. Do you understand? I am still the boss. Now get out now. How dare you talk to me like this? How dare you talk to me like this? It's not your fault. I don't blame you. Ever since your father died, I have been putting up with your failings. How do you talk to me like this? If you don't mind, I'm putting out my resignation letter tomorrow. Things easy. Okay? However, that will not stop me from putting in my resignation later tomorrow. Good day.
What have I done? Dr. Belvin? Yes, Doctor. I need to see you in the hospital. Doctor, Doctor, please. We have some complications. I'll be reading blood transfusion urgently. Okay, 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 sir. I will be on my way right away. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. What is this? Doctor, calm down, calm down, how calm down. How Why tell you a rumor is dead? No, Doctor. Calm down. You, you, you. Just thank God she was brought here at the time they did, otherwise it would have been a different story. Thank you so much, Doctor. Listen, Doctor, uh, anything you want me to do, I'm ready to do, please, okay? Is she married? Uh, in actual sense, no. In fact, I'm the only one who can stand in uh, on her behalf now. Okay, we need blood for transfusion, so how are we going to get uh, it? Uh, can we get anybody to? Do doctor, can I donate? Are you sure you want to donate? Do, uh, can I donate? I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm willing right away. Let's see if your blood matches. Please. Yes. Uh, you, you don't know if you want somebody has noticed you like a child. You can't just say that. How are you this morning, Auntie? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for saving my life, my son. The doctor told me that you donated your blood. I may leave. You saved my life, don't you, my son? Auntie, I had to do it because you needed help. Auntie, you took care of me in those days when mommy and daddy used to travel up and down. Auntie, you give the family your own reserved service, so this is my turn to help you. Listen, you deserve much more than this, or don't you think so? I know so, my son. I know so. So how are you feeling now? I came yesterday, you were sleeping. I hope you're no longer afraid. Because you are now in safe hands. I'm better. I'm stronger. That's right. Now that your blood flows in my veins, it gives me life. Mm -hmm. And it gives me hope. That's right. Your wife was here this morning to see me mm -hmm. on her way to drop the children from school. Yeah, she told me. And she promised to come back and see me. Dozier. Auntie. Please, bring your children here to see me. Let me behold them with my eyes. I want to see them. Okay, okay, I'll do just that. And your mother. Uh, Auntie. Auntie, please, please, please. I prefer you don't bring her into this whole scenario. Uh, I know both of you resent each other. And I will not allow you to drag her to this place since she's not ready to, 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 to see you. Besides, she's been so unexpressive, you know, ever since she heard of your plan. So please, Auntie, uh, let's, let's, let's not just you know, talk about her. My son, I know how you feel, but I have a problem. What's that? I have a problem that only your mother, Marge, can solve. I need to reconcile myself before I die. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Listen, you need rest, okay? See, um... I'll come back later in the day, okay? I just need you to do me one favor. Get better, all right? I'll see you later. Thank Ross, what's 
Hold the user. Oh man! Oh boy, sorry, but if you know what I just found it. Hello, Kate. Uh, could you please come to my office right away? Thank you. So, boy, what's been happening? stupidly rude. I mean, I had no reason whatsoever to talk to you in that manner. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry too, sir. I shouldn't have talked to you the way I did. Please forgive me. It's okay, it's okay. But I'm still willing to put in my resignation later. Kate? I do not think things have gone that bad in this company. Yet even if they have, I will not let you go. I mean, not after all you've done for the company, not after all you've put in for the company, the sacrifice, your marriage, everything. I will only allow you to retire when I realize you are no longer capable. Do you understand? In fact, this is an instruction. You go put up an advertisement for a new secretary who will be helping you. Sealed. You may now go. I appreciate the respect you have for me, sir. Thank you. What was that all about? And why would she want to resign? Oh, <laughs> you know, Mike, after you left here yesterday, I was so mad. I was boiling that I just felt like just hitting somebody really bad. You better watch it, bro. Anyway, have you thought about what I suggested yesterday? Not really. What are you waiting for? Mickey, I'm afraid of digging into my past. I'm scared of what I may find out. Mickey, my mother too, is not helping matters. She's so withdrawn into that mood of hers that stops anyone from getting close to her. You have to push further. You know, woman last chances of surviving this attack is me. It might be late, you know. I know. I'll give it my best shot. So, how is uh, Azuka your wife? Uh, <laughs> that was partly the reason why I'm here. Did you do something? The doctor told me I'll be having my first child. Maybe by this weekend. Look at this rascal. <laughs> Are you just saying it like that? Listen to me, it calls for a cool bottle of champagne. Splendid news! Come on! Thank you, my boy, but that is too early. Why? It's just that I have suddenly developed this fear. Fear? Yeah. Listen! Oh, well, listen, listen. You should be happy. On the contrary, you should be happy about it. I know. But it's just that. After all I've been through in the hands of my father, sending me to that orphanage, I just don't want my children to face what I faced. Uh, oh boy, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Listen to me. It is not your lot. It is not your portion. You will grow old with your family. I understand all you went through. All the times your father pushed you away any time you went closer to him and just blamed you on your mother's death. I do understand. He virtually abandoned me at that orphanage. It's okay. A 
and visited me three times in the six years that I spent there. If not for those Reverend Sisters who forced him to take me back, I wonder what would have become of me by now. I wish I can hit him from the depth of my being. Listen, we have been in it together. And I will not want it to come in between you and your father. Mickey, you have Azuka. You have my family. You have me. All of us forever. So what's your problem? Thank you, man, for understanding me. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder what I would have done without you. I'm always there for you, you know that. Anyway, but have you been to the hospital lately? Yeah, 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 I've been there, I've been there. So how's she faring? Uh, still too frail, but a little bit better. It's just that uh, each time she sees me, she begins to hallucinate. Dozy. The truth is that you try to shield yourself from knowing the truth. You do not solve your problems by running away. Problems don't just go away, they are solved. That's alright. It's okay. You know what? I think I can make do with that champagne. <laughs> Saturday afternoon. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Mommy, it's just that it, I, I, I just take things easy. I'll be available on Saturday. Alright then. Good night. Oh, 
Hi. And you look refreshed. Oh, I hope you are fully recovered now. Yes, I have recovered. Yeah. So, why did you best not leave me to see me? No. Mm. You did even ask after Ella and you to me. Oh. Have you forgotten us so soon, locked up in that small cocoon of yours? Oh, that's pretty talk to say. How is it? I'm <laughs> surprised. <laughs> oh. Okay. If that's why you have come. How are you all? We are fine, Mom. And how are my kids? They are fine. Has Asuka put to bed? Yeah. Uh, in fact, she had a baby boy. Oh, wonderful news. I'm happy for them. Please tell them I will visit them tomorrow. I will, Mom. Hey, but does he... <clears throat> uh, I also want you to know that I am thinking about retiring to the village. I am tired of living in the city. Besides, the doctor said... Mom, 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 Mom. I know what the doctor said. I don't know. But why this sudden change of mind from city to the village? Why don't you stay in the city so that we can take good care of you? That is, if you will permit us. Because, Mom, I'm tired of booking an appointment to see my mother. I do not understand all this. It's unimaginable. Mom, guess what? Ever since Uluma resurfaced, you have changed. No, stop that. Look, Mom, I won't stop it. I mean it. Mom, this is not you. Listen, listen to me. I am your mother. And I love you very much. I wish you could see my heart. All I am doing, I am doing for our well-being. Anyway, when the time comes, you will certainly understand. For what the doctor said, I don't have much time. No, 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 talk, talking about time. The doctor said you don't have much time. The doctor said Uluma doesn't have much time. Now she's insisting she must see you. That she has a problem that only you can solve. Now it's confusing. I, I just don't understand. No, no, to be candid. What is the matter between the two of you? I need to know, Mom. Mom, I, it, 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 it's confusing. Your illness worsened ever since you got news of Uluma's sudden accident. Is that where you have come? Yes, Mom. That's then the door is open. Close the door when we're out. Mom, listen. I am not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere more until you tell me why you have done left me at that orphanage for eight years before bringing me home. Until you tell me why Uluma was sent immediately after Dad's death. Until you tell me why Uncle said I'm not part of this family. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me why. Each time I mention Uluma's name, you become so agitated. Look at me, man. Look at me. I don't think I should be enjoying my family but here and I. Trying to solve a puzzle that should have been solved long ago. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I, Mom? Who is my mother? You, Paulina. I need to know. Why are you asking me all these questions? Why are you asking me all these questions? Are you making me this? Are you making me this? It's not about looking in my life. You are saying the word for me. You are not making things easier for me. Do you know what I went to? Am I a bastard? Who is my mother? You are Paulina. Listen, Dozier, you have virtually thrown a whole lot of questions at me. I don't even know where to start. But there's one thing you must know, that I am your mother. We left you at the orphanage because I was very sick. sick I needed rest and so you, 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 you left me at the orphanage there and went to stay with dad in Lagos. After I've been in your house in Enugu, you now brought me back on my eighth birthday. Say it all the time, you keep saying the same thing. 
there is something missing in that story. Mom, Nikki's mother died. That was why the father took him to the orphanage. Why did you and dad abandon me in the orphanage? Why did you have a photograph of mine at my tender age? Why did you abandon me at the orphanage? Don't you have a brother, sister, uncle, no relations? Don't you? You know something, man? I must know what my relationship with Oloma is. Or oh, else, mom. I swear. I will never, ever come here again. I will live here and I will never come here. And you know what? Your worst fears will happen. Try me, Mom. Maybe? Me? Yes, Mom. Why would you want to do that now? Remember your father's company. I will still have 80% in shares. I know, I know. So you can't sleep. At this doctor. Now let me surprise you, Mom. I am willing to let go of the management of that company. So you don't trust the management. Tell me what I need to know. No! Has it come to that? Yes, Mom, it has. So that which of the one has finally possessed you? Oh, Jesus. It's Christ. I want you to stay away from this woman, but you wouldn't listen to me. Only most. That woman destroyed my home. But this time, I won't allow it. I she will dead! I will she will dead! I better take my leave now. If I am to continue being your mother, are you threatening me? Why, why, why don't you just look, mother? All I want is just to solve this puzzle. That's all I want. Mom, what are you afraid of? I did. But same old story. She even threatened to take away the company from me if I continue to pester her with Uluma's case. Are you serious? It's that bad. 
funny. Yes. I um. I think I have to go and see Loma this afternoon. She said. Anyway, never mind. You keep on pressing on with your mom, okay? I believe there's something she needs to tell you. Ella. Yes, dear. You wanted to tell me something which Uluma said. Suddenly, you stopped. Honey, you now have something on the fire. Hmm? Give me like 20 minutes. Let me go and check it out. I'll be back, okay? with the kids okay to see mom it's all right it's all right it's okay my love. okay see you later bye Hospital. God, this sounds serious. Uh, I better be on my way. So we can go with you. Baby, you know you can't. Huh? Besides, it's late. Who is going to be with the kids? Listen, I'll call you from the hospital, okay? Okay. Please, I better Please be drive with care. Yeah. ask you for a favor. 
I want you to go to Umwakoni village and ask for one Mr. Uche Obiako Izu. He is my only brother and my only surviving relation. I want to see him urgently. I want to see him because I don't have much time left. Mm. That is not all you will do for me. There's one more. Your mother. She has not visited yet. No. I don't just want her to come. I want to die in peace, knowing that she has forgiven me. Does he, my son? I want you to ask her. Ask her, my son. Ask her why I was driven away after your father died. Your father was a good man. He was a good man. And may God rest his soul. Because very soon, I will join him. Listen, Mama, Mama, you're not dying, okay? You're not going to die, okay? Hey! Hey! What about... Do you mean you wish it were true that I called you, Mama? Mm. The answer, the answer lies with your mother, your mother, Marachi. Go to her, go to her, do see my son, and ask her if she tells you nothing, then tell her. That I said, I said that I, I am your mother. No. No. Oh, make it. I'll oh, place it down. You said for me, you're checking. Oh, thank God you're here. Make it. I, I, I am confused. What is the problem? I, make it. I, I visited with Uma in the hospital yesterday. That's what you told me. Now, she keeps repeating there is no time, there is no time, there is no time. Make you know the worst part of it. Uluma asked me to tell my mother, Marchi, that she, Uluma, is my mother. Yes. Can you beat that? Just imagine, after all I've done for Uluma, imagine what she's doing to me. And you know the problem here? My mother insisted I send her away when she resurfaced 13 years after she left us. Tell me, Mickey, how do I go back to present this before my mother? How? Dozier. Tell me. Dozier, I thought we had gone over this issue several times in the past. And I was hoping that you would have resolved this with a matchy. Just like that? Oh, you think it's that easy? What exactly are you afraid of, Dozier? Since she keeps repeating her claims, you have to face the fact of who you are. Yes, my God. If you finally discover that Uloma is your biological mother, it does not stop you from loving Machi. At least we all know that 
she is the first woman that gave you love and she has been faithful as far as I can remember. Yeah, you know, that's right, but... Uh, Be a man, my brother. Even if it means hurting her a little. Mickey, 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 I, I, I know. But you must have to do it. At least. So that Uloma can die in peace. Come to think of it, the fact that you stayed at the orphanage that length of time is enough to raise anyone's eyebrow. Be courageous, my brother. I have to be leaving now. I have lectures in the last 15 minutes. Thank you. You would do the same for me. It's okay. It's okay. Right. Well, I'll call you. Why did you fail to meet with your mother like you promised, Dozi? Your mother now. By the time you regain this your confidence, it might be too late. Jesus Christ. For crying out loud, Uluma is dying. Uluma's case is deteriorating by day. We will even be lucky if she can live for one more week. Jesus, I'm I'm human. Human. I'm human. Me. I'm human. Oh, you are human. Which Uluma's brother was here this evening like we discussed. He said we should alert him as soon as Uluma passes on.
does not have children of her own? What has come over you, mother? Children? Children, you say? How can a homebreaker have children? Is it possible? Mom, if I walk out of this place, I will never come back again. Are you threatening me? Well, Luma said, I should tell you that she is my mother. <laughs> Does it? How do you? How do you accuse me of not being your true mother? How do you? I carried you in my womb for nine months. I did not show you until you became a man. I gave you all the love and support I could muster. Why can't you forgive me for sending me to the orphanage at that early stage? Oh God, what am I doing? Mom, 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 listen to me. 
I have never doubted you before. I've never questioned you on issues surrounding my maternity. All my life at the orphanage, I've had to accept every explanation you and dad gave. I've never doubted the love you have for me. Ever since dad died, you've had to lean on my shoulders. I've had to give you every help I could render. But there's just this one puzzle that I need to solve, Mom. Why can't you tolerate Oloma? For God's sake, Mom, she lived with us for long. I mean, you yourself approve of her closeness to the family. She was your best friend till Papa's death. So, what, what is the problem? To see, why are you doing this to me? Why are you making my life difficult at my age? Mom, why? Age is not an issue here. What if my suspicion turns around to be true? So, wh why don't you confide in me? Let's settle this between the two of us without letting any soul. What else? What else do you wish to hear from me? What else? I told you that woman is devilish and she has finally possessed you! Why was she sent away after that died? I told you she left on her own! Yes, mom, you did. But why did you refuse to help her about a year ago? Why did you say she's evil? Why did you refuse to visit her at the hospital? Why did you forbid me from, from helping her? Mom, uh, most importantly, why would a dying woman say she is my mother after living with us for such a long time? She, 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 she used to be your best friend. Yes, I used to call her. I used to call her. Oloma. Yes, she was really like an auntie to me. I can't breathe. She was your best friend to Papa's death. Why this sudden? Turn against her. That's the issue. Why do something turn against her? <laughs> Mom? 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 Okay, 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 it's okay. Oh, oh, okay, please, please, please. Just hold it down. Just hold it down. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're joking, you're joking. I'm just taking it. to call to tell me you're coming to see me this morning. I had already planned seeing you in the office today. So let's go in. Oh, no, Mom. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Let's just talk here. I, okay. I feel it. it's very, very urgent. Okay. Mom, I came to tell you that Oluma is dead. What? Oh. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> now we are rid of her. It calls for a celebration. Now we can rest, knowing that the enemy of our peace and unity is finally out of the way. <laughs> what if I tell you that she's not dead yet? But I just said I have to find out how you went to react. How dare you play pranks on me? How dare you? It's a pity you don't understand. Don't give a hoot. Whatever becomes of her. So long as she, she does not end up destroying my family. Whether she's dead or not, the matter is closed. So can we talk about something else? And mom, what other important thing is there to talk about? She is a woman like you. Why are you so being so difficult, mom? Why? Why? Mom, what, what, what are you really afraid of? She's a woman like you. Has it ever occurred to you, mom, that Oluma does not have children of her own. What has come over you, mother? Children? Children, you say? How can a heartbreaker have children? Is it possible? Mom, if I walk out of this place, I will never come back again. Are you threatening me? Well, Oluma said, I should tell you that she 
is my mother. you before. I've never questioned you on issues surrounding my maternity. On my life at the orphanage, I've had to accept every explanation you and dad gave. I've never doubted the love you have for me. Ever since dad died, you've had to lean on my shoulders. I've had to give you every help I could render. But there's just this one puzzle that I need to solve, Mom. Why can't you tolerate Uluma? For God's sake, Mom, she lived with us for long. I mean, you yourself approve of her closeness to the family. She was your best friend till Papa's death. So, what, what is the problem? To see, why are you doing this to me? Why are you making my life difficult at my age? Ma why? Age is not an issue here. What if my suspicion turns around to be true? So, wh why don't you confide in me? Let's settle this between the two of us without letting any soul. What else? What else do you wish to hear from me? What else? I told you that woman is devilish and she has finally possessed you! Why was she sent away after that day? I told you she left on her own! Yes, mom, you did. But why did you refuse to help her about a year ago? Why did you say she's evil? Why did you refuse to visit her at the hospital? Why did you forbid me from, from helping her? Mom, uh, most importantly, why would a dying woman say she is my mother after living with us for such a long time? She, 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 she used to be your best friend. Yes, I used to call her. I used to call her. Oh, your mom. Yes, she was really like an auntie to me. I can't breathe. She was the best friend to Papa's death. Why this sudden? Turn against her. That's the issue. Why do you suddenly turn against her? I can't breathe. I can't Mom? Breathe. Mom? Really Mom? Like Mom? Okay, 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 it's okay. Oh, oh, okay, please, please, please. Just hold it down. Please hold it down. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're joking, you're joking. I'm just taking it. Hello, is that Mickey? Mickey, this is Kate. Please, I want you to come to the office right now. Your friend needs your assistance. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. I have one thing to take things easy. Go to the hospital and see how she's faring. No, 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 no. Listen, I can't. I can't face her. I was too hard on her. I pushed her into this condition. Can't you see? 
Oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Why, why, why this? Blaming yourself and self-pity won't be of any help. All we need to do now is look for a solution to this problem. Listen, 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 Mickey. That is not the issue. Then what is it? That is not what you mean. You don't need to listen, listen. You, you, you don't understand. No, everything is just... Hello? Doctor, 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 doctor. Oh, thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. Yes, doctor. I'm indeed grateful, doctor. Okay, right away. Immediately, doctor. Yes, doctor. Please just do everything you can, please. Immediately, doctor. I will. Yes, doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's my mother. What? The doctor said she just regained consciousness and wants to see me immediately. Then let's go! Oh, no, no, Mickey. I, I will go alone. You understand, don't you? Of course I do. I do. Thank you so much. <sighs> to see. Please listen to me. I know I don't deserve your sympathy. I, I didn't want it to come out this way. But fate has compelled me to open up. Mom, what, what, what are you talking about? I, I don't understand. I don't like the way you're sounding. <laughs> Is it? But this time, don't just interrupt me because I may not have time to finish what I have to say. Okay. What I okay, have to okay, say. okay. See, this story has to be concluded today. What story, Mom? What story? So I can ease off my conscience. I have not been good lately. No, Mom, listen, Mom, listen. You've been a good mom. You've been a good mom. Don't you've been a good mom? Just keep quiet and listen to me. Excuse me, Mr. Doze. You should know your mother needs to rest to recover fully. You can please leave now. She needs to be left alone. Uh, doctor, I'm so sorry, but you see, uh, I've got issues. They are very, very important. Uh, please. Okay, okay. Whatever this issue is, please don't upset her. Okay, doctor. It started 40 years ago. When I first met your father, we loved each other very well. I had already taken him, but your father was not ready to settle down. So we had it aborted, and that was when our problem started. I got my own damaged, but your father insisted on marrying me, and we settled down three years later. It was difficult, I and mean, I could not. It was not possible for me to conceive. But, but, but you had me. We, we had believed the miracle will happen. After many years, we visited a, a compassion home for adoption. No one was available then. The matron told us about you. Given the condition, that you can only be adopted eight years after your mother didn't show up. We decided to relocate to Enugu. We sponsored your stay there and brought you home at your eighth birthday. Your uncle knew about this. That was why they sent me away when your father died. They accused me of killing my father, but I was innocent. I just insisted Wednesday. Luma came to live with us. She had no one to take care of her. So I took her as a sister. I loved her then. The one afternoon, when I came back from dropping you off to school, I had a loma 
telling your father how she gave it to you and left you at the orphanage gate. I felt, I felt betrayed. I rushed in to the living room only to find out in your father's hands. I was enraged and I fought her. It was when your father was trying to pull me away from her that he fell down and got himself badly injured. He died on his way to the hospital. <laughs> to save himself. There's still one more confession I need to make. <laughs> when the room barely surfaced, I was apprehensive and afraid of her presence because it was not for nothing. Not for nothing. That was why I told you to stay away from her. But you refused every employer as you clean up. She destroyed me once. I didn't want her to destroy me the way she destroyed me once. So I struck first. I I, I arranged that accident. Jesus Christ. And, and, and the failure of it brought a greater guilt to my mind. You mean you wanted to kill Oloma, my mother? <laughs> no wonder. Was that why you wished her dead in that accident? But why would you want to kill her? Why? Why, mom? If you would explain it to me, you had told me, I wouldn't have left you. Why, mom? Because see, you give me life, you give me love, you give me protection, you give me a home. Jesus Christ. She abandoned me at that orphanage. You picked me up and made me who I am today. I can forgive you for concealing the truth of who my true mother is. But I will not. I cannot forgive you for trying to kill her. No, no, I cannot. I cannot, I cannot, my mother. Jesus. Please, 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 You see what your friend is doing to himself. Ella, Can you see what he's doing to himself? Ella, calm down. Calm down. Calm down, Nikki. Why on earth would he drink himself to stupor? Is that the best way to handle the situation? Hey, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Can, can you hear him? Well, yes. Nagging. Nagging. Since my... I, I'm not just saying anything, you know. All you should have done, go inside, give me food to eat, you are shouting! Mwadu, come and eat me. Ella, please. You wake the children. You know they are asleep. And the whole neighborhood. This is for you to take him inside. 
give him some food and let her explain. Yeah. Hey. Okay, okay. Do you know that Imagine had a heart attack today when Daisy went to see her? And 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 and, and, and what? And what? Hey. Wait, wait, wait. She naked. Nikki, you mean you knew all these things all this while and you couldn't even tell me? I, 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 I almost went out of my mind worrying about him and Luma's condition that is getting worse. Jesus! And you want me to rush into the kitchen right now and get him food, isn't it? Give me food! Let me eat in my house! Hey. Uh, uh, why, why, why would you even drink yourself? My friend, don't talk to me. Yeah, what? They will not even allow me eat food. That you answer, answer it. Answer it. Take, take. the phone. Answer it. Hello, Doctor Darwin. We are on our way. Oh, we are on our way. Okay, it has finally happened, isn't it? It has happened. To Luma. Oh, Luma. The doctor said. The doctor said what? Now what about to Luma, honey? What happened to Luma? We we had better. The, the, the doctor said. Oh, Luma. No, come back. Nikki, don't let him. Don't let him. Don't let him. Don't touch me. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm not going No. Let's go. Leave me alone. That's better. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just a minute, okay? Let me look up. Leave me alone. I'm working. I'm driving to the police. Okay. Oh, what is wrong with you? You want to kill yourself? Huh? Let me kill myself. Maybe there will be peace. Let me. Let me. Oh. Let me just go in a lot. I just want you to understand. I want to just go in. But the thing you understand, you understand this. Because I don't understand it. I want to go in there. And I say no. Fear the... for crying out loud. I am a woman. And I am your wife as well. So I need to go in with you. And I say no. I say no. All this stubbornness is lately for, for crying out loud. Now listen to me. You stay here. I go in there. It's as simple as Okay, that. okay, all right. In that case, then you go alone. I then go back home and take care of them. Let's shoot yourself. Let's them all alone. Okay. Ella. Nikki, I'm going home. How are you going to get home? I'll find my way. God.
Yeah, I think so. Good evening, sir. That's your aunt. She she has gone to she's on night duty. She waited for you but didn't come back early. Night duty. Yeah. Your food is ready, sir. It's not true. No, it's not true. Hey, God, no. 
No. No. suggest she be confined in a room. At least since you don't want anybody to know about it. Doctor, I am so, so confused. I understand. I understand. Look at what I have done to myself. A child placed under my own care. What will people say if they get to know? What? Must be to set on. Pray that the man who brought you here come back to pay the bill. If not, the man will direct to my cell of your baby. Oh, put him up for adoption. That is basically what he does here. That is what he does here. And we will not be able to find him. God forbid. I should sell my own child. Hey, hey, doctor. I know I cannot take care of the child. What the please? I, I cannot let him sell my child now. It's not the child that I delivered. Hey, doctor. Please. Please, you have to help me. Please, doctor. Don't let him sell my child. Please. You find a way to sort it up. Please, don't tell anybody I told you this. I'm not supposed to discuss or speak to my mind decisions to you. It's because of the soft spot I have for you when I heard of your story. But don't worry. Okay? We'll find a way to sort it out. Hello, Doctor. Hey, Doctor. How is she faring? Um, she's fine. She's fine. I came to check her pulses and see how she's doing. She's fine. Has she taking her drugs? Oh, yes, Doctor. She has. It's okay. Okay. Did you check on the woman that was delivered 
yesterday of a baby boy in Ward 6. Oh, yes, yeah, she's okay. She's fine too. Everything is fine. Alright. Mama, how are you doing today? Your right. You walk through the bushes and be careful with the guards. They don't look at you and if they catch you, don't mess up with me. Okay? So you take care, okay? Take care of the baby. Thank you. Oh, God bless you. Yes. I'll never forget this hell of a problem. Thank you. Thank you. After my escape, from the hospital with you. There was no means of survival. I didn't want anything to happen to you. So I took you, my child, and laid you in front of an orphanage called the Compassion Home. I had spent some time with my madame and saved some money. I went back to the village to see Auntie Ami. Oh, it was a night of tears. Papa! No, 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 Sorry. Papa! Are you up to it? 
Can you now tell me this story? Eh? Can you complete it for me, please? Eh? Get up, sit one. Oh, no. Get up. Get up. Get up. That night, Mama, after Auntie Grace had gone for a night duty, and I had finished preparing Okuloka's dinner, So I slept up on the cushion. Then, when I woke up, I saw him there, staring at me. He was bent over me, Mama. I was scared. So I checked up. I checked up, Mama. He was dead, drunk. As he staggered out of the living room, he asked me to bring his food into his room. So I took it there, Mama. I took the food there. So when I got there, Food on the table. Then he grabbed me, Mama. He grabbed me into the bed. I wiggled my way free, Mama. Yes. I wiggled my way until yes. until I ran out. Yes. So I ran into my room. I closed the door. I was so scared, Mama. I was so scared. <laughs> he banged and banged on the door, Mama. He banged on the door to my room, Mama. <laughs> I didn't open it. <laughs> Why didn't you do 
one of the doctors. I took my child and I slept at the market square. Oh. It was horrible, Mama. Oh. It was terrible. Oh, my child. I couldn't. I couldn't have kept the child, Mama. I couldn't even feel for myself oh. how much more the child, Mama, I couldn't. Come, 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 come. I took him. I took him to an orphanage, Mama. I saw an orphanage beside where they wrote the compassion home. So I, I took him there. I laid him there, Mama. I laid him there. In the hand of destiny. Yes, Mama. I, I put him there. I watched them take my child into an orphanage, into a motherless baby's home, Mama. I wanted Faith to finish the game that started on me. I wanted Faith to finish it. But I'm sorry, Mama. There was nothing I could do. There was nothing I could do, Mama. There was nothing I could do. I was a face to the game you are standing on me, Mama. I could have been a statue, Mama. I played the child in the hands of faith, Mama. I put the child before destiny. Let destiny finish the game you started, Mama. I love you, Mama. <laughs> that was nothing I could. We cried and we cried. Her tears and her wet increased my zeal to search for you. So I went back to the compassion home. That was where I gathered all the information about you 
that led me to Maggie's house. How convinced I was. I was so convinced that you were my son when I saw the scar, the mark that I gave you behind your right leg. <laughs> It was he, my son. Yes. I gave birth to you. But it was a monkey who gave you life. She, she made you who you are today. Dozy. My son, promise me. Promise me. You will forgive me, both of you, for all the pain that have caused you. But please, please, my son, see her and take her as your mother. Everything she did, she did for you. She did because every woman wants a child. Oh, how old. I don't have much time on my bath. Mama, please don't leave me. Don't leave me. Just give me an opportunity to love you just for one more day. Don't, please. Please. My son. My I got to die in peace. All I wanted was, was to see you and, and hear you call me mother. My son, you must be strong. Take care of my grandchildren. I love you. I love you too, Mama. I love you. I've never had any cause to, to doubt Machi was never my mother. She meant everything to me. She did. But now that I've just discovered you, you just want to slip through my fingers. No. I'll not let that happen. See, Mama, you will live okay? I'll call the doctor. We'll just make sure there is no there is not much that the doctor can do for me now. But you must do me one favor, my son. Beg Machi. Beg Machi to forgive me. To forgive me for all the pains that I've Made her go through in this life. And I, I have tasted pain. I have been pain. I have seen pain. And I have lived with pain in my life too. It's okay. I want you to. Mama. 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 Mama? 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 Mama?
Forgiven her. She didn't know I brought her death upon her. Does it please forgive me? Forgive me, husband. Please. Mom, I, I have no choice. Uh, I have no choice. And that's why I've come here to reassure you that I have re accepted you back into my life as my mother that you've always been. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. You've given me life once more. I'm in a roller. I'm in a roller. I'm in a roller. See? 